Myself Lakshmi and my members from Maroon Team Group A are going to present the field study on the topic to know about air pollution by industrial waste on 10 to 2023 at Cashnet Factory RIEPL in Kapikada. Cashnet processing involves the hazards of both air pollution and interpollution. The former burns away our planet Earth and the latter affects the health of the factory workers engaged in different processes. This aspect is examined here by means of a field study of one cashnet processing factory in Kanyakumari district of Tamil Nadu state in India. Coming back, now I am stepping into the factory with my team members to examine their works and steps taken by them to reduce air pollution. Let's get started. First, we browsed all the parts of the factory. Later on, we entered into every section. Sujada was the main guide who enthusiastically explained all the process of every sector. is highly labor intensive and the workforce consists mainly of women. Auspiciously, this factory has installed wet scrubber in the chimneys to prevent oily particles from getting released into the air. But there are two more chimneys which are not cared and releases wildly toxic gases in the atmosphere. Thereby, they also follow roasting process, which release a high amount of chemical pollutants in the air. Cashnut shells or agro wasters produced from cashnut processing factories and contain about 30 to 35 percentage of oil called cashnut shell liquid (CNSL). CNSL is a mixture of cardinal, cardol, and anacardic acid. Other chemical usual, a toxin that present in the shell causes allergic skin. After visiting the nuke and corner of the factory, we find that even though there are more efficient and non hazardous methods in cashnet processing, this factory runs on old cheaper techniques which are hazardous to both the environment and workers involved. But auspiciously, they are trying to follow advanced techniques to reduce air pollution. Dust and construction contributes about 59% to the air pollution in India. We could witness the effects of air pollution from the carbon particles from the chimneys of the factory. The government inspector that the factory should ensure the proper air filters are fitted in the chimneys before the air is let out. We could imagine the extent of air pollution that will be caused by other big industries like coal. Through this field study, we were able to understand and evaluate the reasons for air pollution in our locality and what our government has done in order to overcome this problem. We must treat it properly for all the resources and services it providing us. As a young scientist, we all should give awareness to people about the effects of the polluted air. So we all have to cooperate together and work hard for breathing a clean and fresh air. I would like to thank the organizer of Kumari Arivial Perawai, Mr. Mulancheri M. Vilayansom, to motivate and lead us to know about the current situation of our earth. Also, I thank our coordinator, Tirubala Krishnan, who is the vertebrae of our Maroon team. Thank you.